Hi. So in this video, you're going to learn new vocabulary words that are very common in American spoken English. You're going to listen to a conversation between two friends about soccer. One of them does not like soccer and the other person is trying to talk him into playing soccer or trying soccer. And that's the first vocabulary word to talk someone into doing something, which means to convince or persuade to make them believe that they should do it. The second word is to bother. To bother means to care or to make the effort to do something. It's different from the other meaning of bother, which is to disturb someone like, sorry to bother you. Like, you're not listening to me. So why should I bother talking to you? That's the meaning of bother. Why should I care? Another vocabulary that you will learn in this conversation is find. Find means uh, when, you, when you lose something, you find it if you look for it. But the other meaning of find is realize or recognize something to be the case. Like, I find soccer really fun. Other people find soccer boring. Hold on a second. That means like, relax, relax. Another word is athletic. Athletic means physically strong, fit, and active. Like, I am very athletic. It means I am fit, I am strong, I can run for two miles or three miles or 10 miles. Another word is willingness. Willingness, willingness. Willingness means wanting to do something. Readiness to do something. You can learn English if you have the willingness to practice every day. Another word that you will learn in this conversation or in this lesson is going to be pick up, pick up, to pick up something like I pick up this from the table, but the meaning here is to learn, to learn something like rules. You can use it for language. Like English is not hard. If you practice every day, you can pick up the language pretty quickly or Soccer is not difficult. You can pick up the rules or you can pick up the sport fast. So pick up means to learn. One last word or phrase or expression is if you say so. If you say so. If you say so um, is actually rude and offensive if you say it to someone. Like someone is trying to tell you something, they say, Exercising outside is good for you. And you, you go, if you say so. Well, if you say so. If you say so means I don't agree with you, but I don't want to continue the argument. So uh, if you say so. Or smoking is bad for you. If you say so. Everyone should learn English. If you say so. I don't think everyone should learn English, but if you want to learn English, you should continue watching this video as we go to the second part of the conversation, which is between two friends talking about soccer. Let's go. Hey, Ross, man, what's going on? I wanted to talk to you about soccer. I wanted to see if you're interested in playing soccer. Ah, geez, what is it now? Oh, don't get mad at me. I wanted to see if you like it, if you want to play soccer. Why should I bother? Soccer is too hard and it's not even fun. Hold on a second. I think you will find it's a lot of fun. There's a lot that you can get out of it that you just won't find in any other sport. And it's just not hard at all, actually. Uh, it's about learning the basics and having a good time because soccer is fun. But I'm not athletic enough for soccer. That's just not true at all, bro. I mean, soccer doesn't require a lot of physical strength or skill. All you need is the willingness to learn the basics and a lot of enthusiasm for the game. You'd be surprised how quickly you can pick up the rules and the different strategies. You know, 
we can get some friends together and find a field where where we can all play. You can even join a local team if you have enough interest in the game. Once you start playing, I'm sure you'll find that soccer is just as fun as any other sport. Well, if you say so. Uh, well, I know so. Why don't you give it a try? I'm sure you won't regret it. All right, I'll try it. Okay, cool. I'll catch you later. That was the end of this lesson. If you like this video, make sure that you share it with your friends on social media so that they can also learn, practice, and improve their English the easy way. And also, thank you, Ross, for making this video with me.